I got me a cloth. This goes mainly, and this cloth is yeah. in York and Darlington. It was important. That was in Edinburgh, hoping to be a site of the heading over. In Aberdeen, strong winds brought down trees, blocking many roads. We also created spectacular scenes. The extraordinary sight of foam swept in from offshore, covering the fishing village. In Conley Bay in Wales, heavy rain left roads flooded. Only a quick response from firefighters prevented the water from getting into people's homes. The farmers weren't so lucky. Acre after acre of agricultural land completely blocked. In Morpeth, 90 homes were evacuated when the River One was first expanded. Businesses were flooded too. This then breakfast was under three feet of water at one point. The swollen river swept in and out again, leaving damage to thousands of repairs and lost bridges. Mm -hmm. good. The forecasters say this weather system won't leave the until tomorrow morning. No, not handy. It's going to find somewhere to go. As you can see, the rivers here are already more than full. The worst of the damage has already been done. People here know there's little they can do. Just watch and wait. Not as extraordinary images there. We could have worked with this. Well, here in Morpeth, certainly, one of what they have. As you can see, the river one side behind me is still fast flowing and swollen, but the water has receded uh, a good deal from the worst point today. At one point, it was up almost to the level of which I'm standing. And forecasters say that there will still be rain across much of Britain tomorrow. Isolated heavy showers over the central part of the country, and as we see here, that can take a while to come down off the hills and flood through towns like this. Uh, so, many people still bracing themselves. For others, the hard work has just begun. A flooded home means putting up carpets, replacing roofs, and crawling through the mountain of paperwork to get along the flooded As anyone who's, been, uh, who's been through that will testify, that is a headache that you want to take to the beach. Martin, thank you very much. The row about what Chief Whip Andrew Mitchell said to a damn chief police officer follows the Prime Minister across the Atlantic this evening. Uh, Andrew Mitchell in that room. What do you think he should have been arrested? What was that? That's obviously a matter 